everybody, and welcome back to the Star Wars Expanded Universe, now made up by Disney, Orkin Lucasfilm, whichever way you slice it, Legends. Today, I have another controversial book for you, but before we get into that, two comic book shorts, Star Wars Tales, number eight, The Tale of Luke's Hand. <laughs> so this, it, it's stupid. There's nothing wrong with it. Anakin's trying to go to bed. And Han tells him a tale. About Luke's hand. After episode 5. And how Luke's hand. Defeated the Emperor's foot. And things like that. It's really stupid. But it's just Han. Telling Anakin a story. So it's fine. And then tales number 11 which is Tall Tales, the short story. Han is in a bar, and they're talking about things that Han and friends have done. And some of it is truthful, some of it is not. And he's just chilling there, like, drinking his his you know beer, and then he collects somebody for the New Republic, and, and it ends. It's fine. As most of Star Wars Tales is. And then... We have a ba -da -bum, ba -da -da -bum, Crystal Star by Vonden M. McIntyre, who's famous with Star Trek books, of all things. Crystal Star, the worst book in the EU, supposedly. Is it? No. It's actually really fun. Um, it's different. It definitely doesn't really feel like Star Wars, probably because it was written by somebody who usually only writes Star Trek, and those are two different vibes, and it, it feels like a Star Trek book that just happens to have Star Wars characters in it, so if you like Star Trek, you'll enjoy it. If you don't like Star Trek, you probably won't, or you might, because it still has really weird things in here. So what happens in this book? Well, the kids, because of course the kids get stolen again, but this time they're more of a focus because they're usually just in the background or they have a small little adventure like in the Jedi Academy trilogy. But here they're actually like doing things because uh, they're kidnapped by this guy named Hethrier or whatever. And he's trying to, he's another small faction that's trying to make the Empire reborn. And the weirdest part of this book, the most insane part of this book, is a being called Waru, which is like this wall of flesh. It's really weird. It's a wall of flesh that is from another universe called Other Space. And he's full of anti-force, whatever that means. And he needs a powerful force user to get back home. Hence, messing with Luke and the bad guy sacrificing children that are Force-sensitive to Waru. And it's really weird. But that is what that is. Um, along with that, we have Luke being really out of character. And it doesn't make a lot of sense. But... Because I think this was written fairly early on. I think this was written before the Callista trilogy. But I think the retcon is that Luke's still all moody. Because he's no longer dating Callista. Which, I guess. But, um, unlike Anakin, his father, he's like almost 30 years old. If not 30 already. And he's acting like he like he's in high school. And it's like, bro, come on. Like, Anakin never even got to 30. He was only, like, 22 when all the bad stuff went down and he became Darth Vader. So, he he doesn't even have that excuse. Anakin was younger, or he, Anakin was my age when he fell to the dark side. So, that that's more understandable. I still feel like a teenager. If I'm still acting the way I do now at 30, there's some problems there. And that's how he acts here. That being said... It's also clear that Waru is affecting him. Um, so, you 
could also explain that away by Waru influencing him. Um, Han has an ex-girlfriend here, who we, if you've read chronologically, was already in the Han Solo trilogy by A.C. Crispin. Um, so she's, she's fine here. Um, it's fun getting to see, uh, Jason, Jaina, and Anakin get more character. Um, there's also weird things like centaurs, dragons in here, and ghostlings, which are these beings that are very fragile. You can't even touch them or they'll, like, break. So that's interesting. Um, Lusa is one of the centaur things I mentioned. She's, she'll be very briefly mentioned in New Jedi Order because, well, stuff happens. Um, we also learn, not that this is very important, I just think it's funny that Jaina is five minutes older than Jason because she popped out first. So she has that win, I guess. Um, I don't remember if it's been mentioned before, so this might be the first time it's mentioned that Jason is connection to living things, which is why he's like really good with animals and stuff. That will play a role in New Jedi Order and stuff. But, um, I don't know, like, it's written like a normal novel when it's Luke and Han and Leia, but it doesn't feel like a Star Wars book. And then you get to the the kids sections where they're kidnapped. And that feels a little bit more like Star Wars, but it's also very kiddy. Like, it feels like a young adult book at times. But then again, we also live in a universe where the Ewok movies exist. Where Sindel and Mace, her brother, help defeat bad guys. You know, with Ewoks. So if that can happen, this isn't a far stretch for me. That being said, it's in a novel, though, like an adult novel, so I can understand why adults would be frustrated. But that's probably the most Star Wars it felt, was when it was being that silly with having kids, you know, overcome the odds and stuff, because that's that's a part of Star Wars. So that wasn't really an issue for me. Waru is really fascinating, and it makes me more excited for Supernatural Encounters, which at the time of uploading this, or recording this, is still not out. But... There's so many things still unknown about the Star Wars universe, even though the fact that I've read, like, most of the EU now. And also, I gotta, I gotta mention, this is my first time reading this, in case you didn't know, because I've read pretty much everything. But I skipped this one, because people said it was bad. And it's, it's honestly not that bad. It's pretty good, actually. I, I had fun with it. So, I don't know. Maybe don't listen to other people's opinions, like, <laughs> no on post-New Jedi Order, make up your own mind. But, because uh, people told me this was bad, so I, I skipped it my first time through, but I really enjoyed it, so... That's my thoughts. Waru is really weird, but I also kind of love it. And it, it makes the universe still be a little bit unknown, despite knowing so much of its history. So, yeah. Do I recommend The Crystal Star? Actually, yeah. I think you should read it. At least give it a chance. I think it's infinitely more fun than Children of Jedi or Planet of Twilight, so... Take that for what, it's, for what that is. Um, but yeah. Till next time. I have Crimson Empire 3 and Jedi Kami, the video game. So until then, the Force be with you.